Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 12th MongoDB for beginners tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete records from the database. Okay then, so there's a few different ways we can go out and remove records from the database. This first way here, car.remove, this car variable refers to a single instance of the model, a single record if you like. So assuming we've gone out and we've already found a particular record and stored it in this variable, we can then call dot remove on it and that's gonna remove that record from the database. So we're calling this on a single instance. We can also call dot remove on the model itself right there. Remember this model refers to the whole Mario characters collection. So we can call dot remove on that as well. And we can pass some criteria within this remove, me uh, remove method to base this removal on. So for example, if I pass in name Mario, then it's gonna go out and remove all the Mario characters with a name of Mario, okay? We can also use this method on the model as well, find one and remove. And this is just gonna go out and find the first one which matches our criteria in here. For example, ID or uh, the name. It's gonna find the first one that matches that and remove just that one, okay? So we're gonna take a look at this one in this tutorial, this bottom one. And we're going to create a new test which goes out and removes one record from the database. So how are we going to do this? What is the process? Well, first of all, we're going to create and save a new record to the database, much like we did in the last tutorial. We're going to do that before our test starts so that we've got something to remove from the database. Then we're going to use find one and remove to remove that very record from the database. But then we want to check that this is where we want to assert something. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're gonna try and find one in the database, the one we just removed, right? And we want that to return a result which is null, meaning it can't find it anymore. And if it returns a result which is null, it means that this thing right here, find one and remove, has been successful, okay? So let's jump to the code. Okay, so this is the finding test I'm currently in. What we want to do now is delete data from the database. So I'm gonna create a new test file, and I'm gonna call this deleting underscore test.js and again because I'm super lazy I'm gonna go to the finding one copy all this and I'm gonna paste it all in here and let's just edit some of it so first of all we'll change this to deleting records this is our described block we are gonna keep this in we're gonna create a new record in the database before each one of these tests first thing I'm gonna do is delete the bottom test right there this it block we're only gonna do one test for now and we're gonna change this right here to delete one record from the database. All right, so we've got our character in the database ready to be deleted. Then what we wanna do is get rid of this and instead use Mario Car dot, and then it's find one and remove. Find one and remove. Okay, cool. So now what we wanna do is pass in our criteria. Which one do we want to remove? So we'll just pass in the name property and the name is Mario. We specified that up here. So that's gonna go out and it's gonna find this record in the database in this collection and it's gonna remove it, okay? So then we need to check that this has actually worked. Now remember, this is asynchronous, meaning it's gonna take some time to do. We only wanna find the next bit of code after this is completed. Therefore, we can make use of the dot then method because this is a promise. And we can say dot then fire this function in here. Okay, so inside this function, what we want to do is then make sure that this has been removed. So we're gonna attempt to find this record which we've just removed. And we're gonna hope that it returns null, meaning the record can't be found and that this has been successful. So we'll say Mario car dot find one and the name is going to be Mario and oh, not Mario and then this is also asynchronous meaning we want to wait until this is completed to find the next bit of code where we're going to assert our statement okay so we'll say dot then again and inside here there's going to be a function which fires after this little bit of code is complete all right so after it's found it or hopefully not found it it's going to return to us a result so if this finds the record right here then it's going to return that object to us there if it doesn't find this record then it's going to return null in this result variable okay 
So now we can check if this equals null. We can assert that the result is triple equal to null. And that's what we want. If this is equal to null, it can't find the record. Therefore, we can assume that this has successfully removed the record from the database. Make sense? Cool. So now we just need to call done to say, hey, we're done with this test. You can move on. So let's check this out. We'll save it. And I'm going to move to commander. And I'm going to run npm run test. And awesome. We can see now deleting record. Delete one record from the database. This has worked. OK. If we just make this fail, just so I can show you, I'm going to say this one right here, we'll call it Marion, right? So we've made a typo. Then this obviously is not going to work, right? It's not going to find this one and remove. So hopefully now this is going to fail. So let us pop into this thing again and run npm run test. And now we're seeing all of these errors. And you can see this one is in red, deletes one record from the database. That is failing, OK? So that is how we delete records from the database. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can update records.